Hi, this is Paul Carson, and this is just a short video on how to access the discussion board, how to reply to posts in the discussion board, and how to select and collect messages, which will save you a tremendous amount of time. If we take a look in Blackboard, there are different ways to access the discussion board. There's a discussion board link here over on the left, but you may be in a content area that has a link into a discussion board. Right. Whether you click this link to get into a particular discussion board or go through the list of possible discussion boards doesn't make too much difference. You enter the discussion board with a click. Right. And inside you'll see several things. Discussion boards that you might join. Right. This particular one gives you the opportunity to create a forum. You can start a new conversation. In this case, I want to click into this technical help forum. And within this, there are several threads. Now I can create a thread. Do I have a new question? Do I want to add a new question? Or do I want to reply to an existing thread? If I click into an existing thread, one of the useful choices here is to select all one click and I can check everything and then I can click collect and this shows me all of the posts in this discussion in one page and on any of these let me slide this over a little bit on any of these I can either reply or quote quote puts this text in my reply which is very useful it tells your reader what you're talking about you don't have to frame it yourself. What you're, what you're responding to is there. So if I click over here in the discussion board, this will take us out to all of the forums. And here, pay attention to unread posts. I've read everything here. But if there were three or four that I hadn't read, that would be a link. And I could go back in and read just the unread posts. Here at the at the thread level I can also use a select all and collect. This takes a second and then it gives me one single page of all of the posts and I can choose the order. In this case it's set to thread order so each thread will come up and I can read down this this long long page and quote and reply to any of the discussions. If you have any questions, please call Student Computing Services at 37777 option 1 or email scs at hofstra.edu.